This is where I come from, right? I, I suspect it's pretty much like here, really, but it's there, you know. So, I mean, you know, you've probably got the same soap powder and the same bed linen and wallpaper. I don't know, you see this of different wallpapers in America when you do see wallpaper. And <laughs> you do. I used to stay in those motels. I, I used to travel with a band, and as I travelled with this band, I, I grew to despise them more and more. I couldn't stand travelling with the band. I couldn't stand being with them. It's great, and they're not here. <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> I, yeah, like they would all, okay, we were democratic about it. It was my band, but we were democratic, and they would all have a go at what hotel they want to stay in. So, I mean, you know, we were high rollers at that time, and we'd drive around in this minibus driven by a tool manager with a facial twitch that seemed to get worse over the weeks that we were away. And, um, and I mean, it'd be someone's turn, bass player want to stay at the Ramada, and then the drummer would want to stay at the Best Western, and the guitar player would say, we want one of them deluxe holiday inns, and then it got my turn, and we'd have to stay in a psycho motel, and one of those coin slot things on the bedpost that shoot the fucking bed to pieces. <laughs> I loved all that, you know, I mean, we don't see so much of that anymore, but anyway. It was a thrill because, like, we'd never been to America. I mean, we'd never... If you came from England, in the, and I was born in the 50s, I grew up in the 60s, and it was really dull. <laughs> Apart from the Beatles and stuff, and the Rolling Stones and that, but, I mean, occasionally, like, something had happened, like the Pink Floyd would come and play at the town hall. And this was, you know, I mean, before the Pink Floyd were wankers, you know, with cows uh, on the front cover and pigs flying across the house. Uh, before that, you know, um, and, and it was just so great, like, uh, when something like that happened, but in between it was just dull. God, it was dull. And then we were in a swing in London, the permissive society, you know, that means that you can shout birds. I wonder what that's like, you know. And I'm sort of wondering in brackets if I could get high on brown ale. My uncle supply of bottles of what needs brown ale. You can't, you can't. You can't. You're um, muddle-headed. Um, but not what you might call high. There's nothing cosmic about brown ale. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so like the permissive society was up there, but I lived down there, and in between there was a load of ploughed fields that they were eventually going to build the M25 on so that people could race around London in a clockwise and anti clockwise direction and be late for work or whatever it was. Like, yeah. um, but uh, anyway, I wrote this. Sat stationary on the motorways of this well, staring at discarded shoes. I want to carry a card, you know, just like a donor card that says, In the event of an accident, please take my shoes with me. <laughs> I watch the traffic through yesterday's rain. Pictures of dinners on tins. I've been up, I've been down, I've spent my fortune in pubs and I've bitten my nails to the grid. Huh? Oh my god. Is that, did you see that thing? It's a fucking mosquito. I don't know, has anyone got any repairment? <laughs> 
おはようございました。<笑><笑><笑>